five, four, three, two, one. Unveil. It's my pleasure to introduce you to the person who uh, led the effort to bring Project Amy to fruition. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Lonnie Love, lead on Project Amy and group leader at Oak Ridge National Labs. Well, I'd like to say welcome to the greatest show on earth, um, Con Expo. I really appreciate the event organizers uh, inviting us here. Uh, I also would like to thank the Department of Energy's Advanced Manufacturing Office. They've really made this possible. Uh, one of the things that you're going to see is over the last few years there's been a sea change in terms of the Department of Energy and our focus on, on manufacturing. A real push for this public-private partnership, something that you're going to see here. I was asked to kind of give a little bit of a summary of how this all happened and, and do it in three minutes. It's impossible. <laughs> But, but it really was a true um, uh, a forcing function for us. Uh, about three years ago, we had uh, com two companies come to us at Oak Ridge, and uh, one was Cincinnati Incorporated, U.S. machine tool manufacturer, uh, and another one was Local Motors. And at the time, we were looking at large-scale additive manufacturing and how we could really change manufacturing in the United States. Uh, Cincinnati wanted to commercialize the technology Local Motors looked at it as a revolution in terms of how you could make cars. And that led to a very rapid six month program in which we developed the Cincinnati BAM and demonstrated the 3D printing of a car at, at IMTS, uh, at the International Machine Trade Show. A month after that, we had the National Fluid Power Association, we had uh, the CCEFP come into our facility and they saw the Strati, the 3D printed car, and I think it was Eric Lanky that said, hey, we want to do something like this at Con Expo, uh, but we want you to print a, a metal excavator. That's hard. That's really hard. But that, that led to a real uh, forcing function. Again, for us, we had a deadline, we had technologies that had to develop, and we had partners, new partners that we had to, to, to pull in. Uh, so we went, again, went to the Department of Energy, got their support. Uh, Case New Holland stepped forward provided an excavator data and it was one of these funny things where I said well if somebody just sends us an excavator we'll take a look at it two weeks later an excavator shows up at our facility so how can you say no uh, but again pulling in great teams working together uh, we had Case New Holland we had University of Minnesota Purdue Georgia Tech uh, I, the list goes on and on but one of the key players that really made it happen was again, at near the end of the, the process, near the end of the project, uh, Wolf Robotics and Lincoln Electric, a welding company and a systems integrator came in. They saw what we were doing and said, we want to commercialize this. We think we can do it. And that led to a very aggressive, again, six month exercise to figure out how you can 3D print steel parts, big steel parts. And again, I think the, to me, the message of the Project Amy is not about necessarily 3D printing an excavator, it's about using something like Con Expo as a forcing function for us scientists and engineers to work side by side with industry to accelerate what we're doing, to make you more competitive. The national labs are a real resource for you and you should be using it. Uh, so at, after this show, come find me. I already told Mark Johnson uh, from DOE, I'm looking for our next challenge. So challenge accepted, whatever you guys come up with.